With this one simple trick, you'll be able to take any bottle of soda and pour out an instant slushy on command. Now if you don't believe what you're seeing, that's okay, but it is real, and in this project you'll discover the insanely easy secret to making an instant soda slushy. For this project, grab a bottle of room temperature soda and start shaking it violently. We want as much pressure to build up inside as we can get. Now I've done this with these 500 milliliter bottles and set them in the freezer for 3 hours and 15 minutes. This is the point when they're colder than freezing, but not actually frozen. Now you can show your friends that it's just a normal soda, but watch what happens if we simply release the pressure, tighten the cap, and turn it upside down. In just three seconds, the entire bottle is turned to an icy soda slush. Pour it in a glass and you'll get a good idea of how thick the slush really is. And when it starts pushing up at the top, you can see it's a light and fluffy, delicious carbonated ice. Now let's try removing the pressure very slowly. This is going to take a bit of patience, but when you get the cap off, you might notice your soda didn't freeze. If you pour it into a frosty bowl that just came out of the freezer, it'll ice up right before your eyes. There's one chilled soda ready to be served. You could try keeping your soda liquefied by pouring it in a clean bowl, then freezing it by dropping in one flake of ice. These crystals will grow rapidly until your entire bowl is filled, and now we have another chilled soda ready for your enjoyment. On a bigger scale, like in a glass, you'll notice that the crystals collect at the top. To get them to spread out, just take a spoon or a straw and give it a little swirl. You should see the whole drink quickly ices over. Now if you're wondering why this works, it's because the liquid is super cooled and actually wants to freeze. It just needs some help getting started. Now this works with every soda and every sports drink that I've tried because it's the water in the drink that's actually freezing. As the ice forms, the syrup gets trapped between the ice crystals so the slush keeps its flavor. If you try this yourself, keep in mind that every freezer is a little different, so just play around with the time it takes to get your best results. I tried super cooling canned soda and found that they work as well, but you have to release the pressure very, very slowly or they'll ice up in the can. When you do get them open, you'll see the trick works exactly the same as the others. Well now you know how to super chill your favorite soft drink and master the art of the 3 second slushy. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com.